Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Yu Yu Hakusho. The last off, off, we fought Jin, and then we fought Jin. <laughs> we lost a few times, but anyways, I set up my uh, stats to be where I got three health, four um, TS, and one SP. And the next guy is gonna be really, really hard, and I defeated him once out of maybe uh, maybe 20 times after trying to fight him. And it was all by mistake. I wasn't expecting to, to win. I was just hitting buttons at that point. Uh, <laughs> so I do have a save state on that. And if I can outbeat him within five times of doing this, I will probably use that save state. Um, yeah. I think that's all I have to say. So let's go. Alright, he hey is hard. I realize you can hit him to aim for his hair, not his face. This causes a little bit more damage and you know it makes him stunts him a bit. Kinda like right there, no. Missed. And he's cheap. He's very cheap. He does so many hits that you can't really dodge too much, and he'll occasionally attack when he's moving, which makes it even more impossible to dodge. And he takes a lot of damage to you, <laughs> so it's it becomes very much of a luck, I guess, in some cases. But see, like that, I can't, I can't focus. Well, I can't move my target thing quick enough to do this. And look at, look at him around. And there you go. Yeah. And there you go. Oh, missed. Uh, yep. Already dead. If you guys don't know anything about the anime, Hihei is one of uh, Yusuke's companions. Originally, he was an enemy of his, which had a bunch of eyes on his body, and he turned green for whatever reason. But he's a master of his sword, and he's very fast and very deadly, supposedly. But he eventually masters a technique, which he does in this um, when he's very low on health. I don't know if I'll be able to show that because it's I don't know if I can, but uh. But basically, he pulls it out when he's low on health and starts pretty much reaping you after that. Which, I was surprised he didn't do that on my last game that I did when I beat him. Come on, here, here, here. There's no point in dodging, because I cannot... I'll try to do it, but it's just... It's hard. Well, dodging would be the right word, be more parrying, but... Whatever. Oh, there he runs. Okay. Damn it, No, 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 no. I want to actually beat him on camera. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna pause the video and do this without the mic so I can focus.
できるようになったらしいな And I'm back. What well, kind of? He actually saw me playing, but whatever. Anyways, I finally beat him on camera. That was close. Had like maybe two videos I was close calls. I even saved one as a bonus feature just in case because I got him to near death. <laughs> but anyways, I got him just. I I think this video, this uh, recording is just as good. So, all right. Next person is gonna be very difficult because I don't know how to stun him. I don't know how to do anything in person text. It's harder to parry even more than just he hey so I don't know. I'm just gonna bump all that in there. Bump all that in there. Mm hmm. Put one in there. I also found out about this. If you hit at least near here, you'll basically be doing two flames per one hit because you're charging so quickly. So it's pretty awesome in a sense because that means you can do more damage with just the normal attack as opposed to charging it up all the time, but it doesn't do that much of, of, of an advantage, so I don't know. We'll see. So join me next time when I fight the next opponent. Hopefully that I'm, I'll be able to win because it's getting much harder as I go and there's no... There isn't really much of a same thing I can do about it. So... If I end up doing another LP without finishing this, that's pretty much why I can't find my way to beat it. So, yeah. Alright, join me next time. So, this is Nivisa going out. Thank you for watching.